Good evening, everybody. As always, oh, squeaky chair, squeaky chair. As always, hope everyone's doing all right. Let me look at you. There you are. How are you all? Hope you're doing very, very, very well. Particularly well today. I've had a little kind of change around. You shouldn't be able to really notice too much. Just looking at like the preview there now. You you can't really tell. I kind of repositioned the camera and my desk a little bit. I've moved it a bit nearer into the wall. But that's about it. Other than that, there shouldn't be any real difference. In theory. Hope everyone's alright. I've had a wealth of technological bother so far. And we're not even that far in yet. <laughs> it's not very good. Started recording the VOD to the wrong part of the, uh, to the wrong folder. It's always a great start. Went live with the wrong notification. So apparently we're playing the beginner's guide. We're not. It's going to be crash. Uh, OBS crashed when I first opened it. So that's also something that we could potentially look forward to. Um, so yeah, things aren't doing too well this morning. This evening. Sorry, it is evening. Things aren't doing too well this evening. Pretzel Rocks started playing music and then uh, that crashed because it had to reinstall itself, which it's had to do pretty much every single time I've loaded it back up again since it's updated. <sighs> Added to all of that is the fact that I've stayed in all day because I was waiting for a package that I was told was guaranteed delivery today. And then the delivery company hasn't done anything. It's coming from basically round the corner. It's not a particularly long journey. The deadline they gave, they said, don't worry, it should be with you today by the end of the day. I'm like, all right, well, great. Thanks for that. I'll be sure to be in for around that time. What am I supposed to do with that information? I've stayed in all day waiting for it. It hasn't arrived, so it's more than likely going to arrive soon, and I won't be able to hear it because of these. I wasn't even, I haven't got any food in the house, I wasn't even able to go out and buy dinner. Something to eat for myself today. I've, my dinner today has consisted of a bowl of sweet potato that I made into chips. Which is about it. <laughs> I had some yoghurt as well. Oh, never mind. Let's move on. Let's let's get into the game. I have some optimizations for today that will hopefully make things a little bit better because we've been struggling a little bit. A little bit. Uh, in the previous stream, we were attempting to do this as a speed run or deathless, and it didn't go very well. Not very well at all. Uh, mostly because I was playing with keyboard and mouse, but now I, I've gotten myself one of these. Um, I think they call them controllers. Uh, they're similar to a keyboard and mouse, but they've got less buttons. And I'm not as good at using them. But we'll give it a go. I feel like a proper gamer now. I can sit in my chair with a controller and everything should be wonderful. In theory, should die an awful lot less now. But that remains to be seen. So we played uh, a fair chunk of the game, actually, in the previous stream. Uh, my, my, I, I, I've always said when I thought about doing Crash that I feel like I could do Crash 2 in one stream. And I think had I not spent too much time faffing around at the start, it would very much be possible. But, because you see we're here, we're already in the fourth warp room making significant progress as well. So I reckon it's definitely, definitely doable to get it all done in one stream. But we'll uh, we'll build up to that. I think we'll finish the game first. Maybe we'll do Crash 3 as well. And then we'll see about actually doing the planned speedrun and a planned deathless run as well. Now that... Now that I have an actual controller that I can uh, that I can use to do everything, oh, I feel so. It feels good. It does feel good. It should also help to improve our Spyro performance as well for those streams. 
but I am hoping that we can do a speed run, we can do a deathless, and we can also just play the game through casually in one stream. So I may do that if uh, if we come across a bit of a slow pattern, a bit of a s slow part of the uh, of the year. We'll go for some super duper like achievement runs or something like that. It's feeling okay so far. I I don't really like the direction pad. I'm using the arrow pad on the control at the moment. Because that's how I would play it if it was the PlayStation. It doesn't feel that good. But it does feel better than the... The Wiggle Stick. I'm sure it's got a technical name. I don't know. I'm a PC gamer. I don't know what the, uh, the tech, uh, analog stick, I think, is what they're technically called. <laughs> I don't know. It feels weird. But I'm, I'm anticipating that's mostly just because it feels different. And different is weird. However performance has significantly increased. I can feel it already. Which is which is wonderful. I feel a lot more laid back, a lot more casual as well. Oop. I'm not kind of heaved forwards over the keyboard and mouse. I'm just sit back. Sit back and enjoy. Assuming everything goes well, there's much less enjoyment if things aren't going well. Nice. Good land. Good land. Oh, terrible land. That's the controller's fault, that is. I get something to blame now. That is that is true. If things go wrong, I can now I now no longer need to blame my ineptitudes. We can just blame it on the controller. Um having said that, I would probably do that most of the time anyway. It's never my fault. It, or, or any gamer's fault, for that matter. It's never the gamer's fault. Everyone has to remember that. A gamer is only as good as their tools. It's kind of like the inverse of the uh, bad workman blames his tools mantra. The gamer's mantra is you are only as good as your tools. And so far, so far the tools are okay. I'm not really sure where I stand on the Xbox versus PlayStation debate. Because it's not one I've ever really had to get too involved with. Perfect, that's what I like. We have already gotten the bonus lives from the polar bear in the second warp room. Because things were going quite badly. I think we're doing alright now though. 62 lives is a good, is a good innings, that's fine. That should keep us going for a while. Oh, he's coming back. There he goes. Nice. So I'm hoping that the uh, the package turns up tomorrow. If it doesn't turn up tomorrow, then I'm going to be deeply upset. Especially because, as I said, the company that I ordered from said... When I ordered it, I ordered it yesterday, and when I ordered it, it said on the website, Order now uh, for delivery today on the 16th. So it's like, beautiful we'll go we'll go for a slice of that and now it's all the delivery company's fault they've got it i've been looking at the tracking information all day it's said that it is due at some point today by the end of today which is so unhelpfully vague but it's not actually giving any information on the journey that's being made if anything looking at the actual tracking information it feels like it's gone backwards <laughs> there isn't any kind of like route map available so I can't see where the delivery van has been but in terms of what's actually just been written down on there it doesn't actually give me any any help whatsoever it just looks like it's gone backwards this isn't beginner's guide I know it's not I've had a mare today Mostly within the last 20 minutes or so. Starting the start of this stream has gone very badly. Hope someone's keeping death count working too late. We've only died once. Um, we've only died once so far. Which is actually probably about as much as I'm hoping because I have decided... I, I have... I've gone. I've done it. I got a controller. 
and improvements have been made. Ability is far improved, which is fantastic. The only thing is, like, I, I like using the direction pads. I was saying this a moment ago. I like using the direction buttons rather than the uh, the analog stick. And the direction buttons on the uh, on the Xbox controller here just don't don't wiggle like the uh, like the PlayStation ones do. They're not as good. Did my delivery arrive? No, I was I was halfway through ranting about it. It has not arrived. I do not anticipate it will. In fairness, it does say estimated delivery for today, but the site that I ordered from said guaranteed delivery today. So the site said guaranteed and now the delivery company is saying at some point today you will have it. But looking at the routing the the package the journey the package has apparently been on it ain't happening. Like it's the journey it's had to make is not is not that long. It's definitely a journey that's doable within an afternoon, you know? I would just like a kind of just a sort of sorry, your uh, your package won't be delivered today. That's that's all that's all I really want. I don't mind things being late. I don't mind, you know, when things don't go to plan. Just tell me about it. <laughs> If I'm informed, then uh, I think you'll find that that shouldn't have been, that shouldn't have unfolded the way it does. Yeah, these deaths do count. This isn't a bonus route. This is the, this is the death platform. These do count. And I'm fairly sure the hedgehog had retracted its spines for that death, but whatever. I'm used to the game cheating. After that, after that hoverboard section where they set off the nitro without me touching it. More than, more than ready. For the game to cheat it's just something i'm gonna have to deal with come on can you keep out count while i hand over uh yeah probably i can probably keep count it's a great chance for me to uh inf deflate the numbers a little bit <laughs> so yeah this package i'm not uh I, I i was really excited for it as well i'm not gonna go into too much detail about what it is i don't need to just yet but really excited for it the biggest the biggest annoyance is that I could have gone out and done my food shop today rather than just sitting in doors doing nothing waiting for this package as I said a moment ago I only had sweet potato for dinner a bowl of sweet potato fries that I made myself oof that's gonna cost us never mind so, oh, we need to do this several times. Okay. Oh, that was not expected. But very welcome. No! Darn it. What were we on? 65 to 66 now. Ah. Gifting a sub tonight? I appreciate that. Thank you. Does that mean payday's coming? <laughs> 66, I got it. This is the pro so we've got to do this level basically three times. We've got to go all the way to the end, hit the box, come back for that wireframe box right there, and then replay it all again to get the the bonus gem that was hanging out at the end there. Execute order 66. I was going through uh, some of the pictures I had from Canada and there was an evening where we'd ordered Domino's and it gave us our order number and it was order 66. It's the small things, as Blink-182 always said. I think the other thing as well is that I've I could, have, I could have gone gone back to my parents' house because there's some stuff that I need to pick up from there. I spent all day indoors waiting for a package that's never going to come. Or it wasn't going to come today at least. So now I'm assuming slash hoping that it's going to come tomorrow. 
If it doesn't come tomorrow, then there's going to be some serious talk. Presumably. I don't do complaining. Not to... Not to staff, anyway. I don't do complaining to staff. I just complain to you guys. Um... Really? Oh, he threaded the needle! That was that was going too risky. That I was taking too many risks. I'm not surprised that one ended in the way it did. Still, at least we got a pity mask now. So that should make the nitro section a bit easier. You don't do complain it. I clarified. I don't complain to staff. And business people. I just... I'm not complaining, I'm venting. Is what I'm doing. I'm not actually complaining. I'm not, uh, excuse me, I'd like to see the manager. Even though I do say that a lot whilst playing video games. But that's because sometimes it's the only way to get your point across. I'd never do it in real life because chances are the person you're complaining to is not responsible for what happened. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was going all sorts of wrong. Posture check. Sit up straight. Shoulders back. It's my old judo teacher used to say. Heads up, shoulders back. Stand up straight. Ugh. There we go. Wiggle into the chair a bit as well. That's why they put cushions on chairs. For comfort. For you to lean into and enjoy. Hey, we got the next number of deaths. It's the way to have it. If we could just keep it at this point forever, that would be wonderful. It's a good job we're earning back the fruit, aren't we? We're still on 61 lives, which is where we was a moment ago, <laughs> the last time I checked. So, at least we seem to be in a kind of life profit. Which is very much appreciated. Alright, twin masks. This should help us out. What was that noise? Oh, yeah, look, there you go. That's the first time we've had that one. The custom, the custom bit donation message dropped some naughty bits. <laughs> I got one. I've got because normally it just comes up with a um, a hey, thank you for donating this many bits, and that, that, that's a, that's a nice little message. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some custom ones for the hex number, and uh, uh, there's also one set up for the magic number as well. You know the one I mean. No, 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 crash, no! In fairness, that's probably for the best. We'll have to come back and do the box gem. I don't know why I'm trying to do them all in one, because it's... I'm trying to do it all in one so that it's quicker, but it's really not. It's just taking even longer. You tell me you can't make that jump? Oh, you can, but just from a different angle. Okay. A small fee. A link? What do you want a link for? Link to what? Oh, or was that what... Was Link who popped up? I can't remember. That's the first... That's the first time that that bit message has come up, so... <laughs> I can't remember what options I set for it. Gotta go, see you in a bit. Not a problem. Thanks for stopping by. Nice. I am assuming that everything is still kind of going live and- No! So close! I assume that everything is still transmitting live and going well. My OBS is not updating itself. That's two deaths, making it 71. Yeah, OBS isn't updating itself with runtime or anything like that. It's It does it every so often. According to OBS, I've only been streaming for eight minutes, which is concerning. At least that's what it says in one part, and then in another part it says 25. What's that? Is that 72-ish now, I think? Why has this bit all of a sudden just gotten really difficult? 
Well, it's not gotten difficult. It's just I've gotten inept at it. I said it. I ain't afraid. Ah, uh, these these feel like they're better timed now. Whoop. There we go. We've done it. There we go. That's what we needed to achieve last time. See, 40 boxes, and those were probably all... Those are up in that death route, and then back in the rest of the level. It's a long way to go. Still, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Nice. Anyone who may be concerned about my diet, by the way, bearing in mind I... I've only had sweet potato fries for dinner. I understand that doesn't sound too good. Uh, I, It's okay. I, I have got food for tomorrow. I've got enough for some breakfast. It's just like you can't really have granola for dinner. You know what I mean? So I can have granola for breakfast. And then uh, I, I've, got, I've got some stuff for lunch as well. I can do... Oh, no, I can't really do a lunch. Okay, I'll have to have granola twice tomorrow. I can have... Pasta or rice, unaccompanied, to be very dry. Oh, nice! Use the penguins to take out the seals. So, I, I've got enough to survive on for tomorrow, don't I? I've got various other bits. I've got some granola bars and cereal bars and stuff like that. Some biscuits and all that sort of thing. So I've got enough for snacking bits. Because the problem is, I don't know what to do about going out and actually doing a food shop to be able to... There we go. So, <laughs> I took an uh, unfathomable and unrealistic amount of concentration. Um, where was I? What was I saying? You see? Loads of, loads of concentration. Yeah, so I, I don't know about what to do about going out to do my food shop if I've got to wait in for this pack because it needs signing for you see so it's not like they can just leave it outside the door and I haven't really got neighbours that I can leave it with either so it's I'm not sure what to do about it I'm hoping that the tracking information updates tomorrow and I'll have a better idea of how I can actually plan out my day Talking of food, right, so I I had, and I don't mind admitting this, I had possibly the best food I have ever had in my life yesterday. Uh, I'd like to apologise for anyone who's ever cooked a meal for me, but you, you don't even come close, I'm sorry guys. It was outrageously good. And the thing, it, it was Japanese food, which isn't a slate on Japanese food at all. It's more of a slate on my my eating habits because I don't really eat much Japanese food. As I would sincerely like to eat more. It's every my every experience I've ever had with Japanese food has been incredibly good. So I would like to eat more, but I just don't. Anyway, uh, must I went to I went to a Japanese restaurant yesterday called Kobe Jones. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout them out by name because it was outrageously good. It was unfathomably good. Uh, I went with a friend, part of the support bubble. Don't worry, right? Just in case the government happens to be watching, he's part of my support bubble. We went for Japanese foods, and it, it was a to it was a total chance, right? We we just kind of walked past this restaurant and was like, well, should we like? Should we have a look? Like, you know, it, it's, it literally opened up a week and a half ago. So we're like, well, let's, let's go and have a look. It looks, uh, it looks, it looks tasty. Let's, let's, uh, let's go in and give it a go. And my God, I'm so glad that we did. It was incredible. Between us, we spent about 56 pounds each. So between us, we spent 112 pound, basically. And it was worth it. So we had a collect a whole heap of like starters and small plates and stuff. It's kind of like Japanese sharing food. We had uh, we started off with edamame beans. We had 
uh, we had like a pork tempura, a kingfish ceviche. Oh, and it was all freaking delicious. Wagyu beef uh, skewers, which was in like a, um, I think it was in like a barbecue teriyaki sauce. Again, absolutely outrageous. Outrageously good. Um, I think it was, uh, I think it was Wagyu beef uh, dim sum. Which, again, I can... Couldn't, cannot fault in the least. As well as uh, crab and scallop dumplings. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. And we got to the point where we were like, No, crash! And do you know what I felt? As I did that button, I was like... it was it, My muscle memory pinged from when I played this game before. It was like, remember, you've got to do a long jump here. You can't just do a regular one. But it was too late. Um... But yeah, so we'd already eaten a fair amount, but we kind of we kind of looked at each other and we were like, you know what? There's a little bit of a hole left. We could Is there anything else we could go for? And they had Wagyu beefsteak on the menu. For what was it? It was like tw an extra twenty two quid or something like that? For a steak to Share, so we kind of looked at each other and we're like, we could do that. So we did. We ordered a Wagyu beef steak, and uh, that was with like a black pepper barbecue sauce. We had it with, and it was outrageously good. It is possibly, um. Sorry, landing on the nitro threw me off there. It was, I'm, I'm fairly confident in saying, the best beef I have ever, ever eaten. It was incredible. Not only was the flavour brilliant, it just melted. You didn't have to chew a single bit. You put the Wagyu in your mouth and it just fell apart. It's a beautiful medium rare and could not fault it. We were chatting with the manager afterwards um, about it. He was like, yeah, we only opened a week and a half ago. It sucks that we've got to go back into lockdown again. And my friend and I said to him, like, this is probably, this is some of the best food we've ever eaten. Certainly some of the best food available in our local area. And as soon as we are able to, we will be back because it was incredible. We also took the opportunity, we were kind of like, look, we work, we work in a pub around the corner. If you guys ever fancy a night out, you know, do uh, do pop in, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look after you. And he was like, yeah, yeah, thanks. That'd be really, really good. We want to do a load of stuff with locals and that kind of thing. So we're like, hit us up. We will more than happily look after you. On the assumption, like, that they will look after us. <laughs> That's the thing. You got to is is give and take, right? And he seemed down for it. He gave he gave us a couple of. Uh, in fact, he gave us one twenty five percent off voucher for the next time we go in. Oh, that's what I need. That's why we went all that way to push the button. <laughs> so he uh, he gave us a twenty five percent off food voucher. And like, no! Oh, we got so near. Oh, where does that put us at now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 75. He gave us one of these vouchers, and as we were leaving, he said bye to him. I was like, again, absolutely zero complaints. Cannot fault this place in the least. Uh, as we went out, he gave us, uh, he gave us like three more as well. <laughs> so we're like, yeah, we'll take these. I look forward to uh, working with you in the future when the country's allowed to open up again. But on, honestly, absolutely incredible. Wagyu B. I've been saying more and more recently. I Wagyu the the uh, the subject of Wagyu beef has come up uh, a couple of times recently, and I, I've said to people that I really would love to try Wagyu beef. And then all of a sudden, this place opens up in the local area, and they're selling it. 
I've got to go and try it. And do you know what? So, so glad I did. It is absolutely delicious. Incredible. Can't recommend it enough. <laughs> so if you're ever... That nitro jumps and threw me off. If you're ever near me, then uh, let me know and we'll go there for dinner. All right? <laughs> Once, uh, once the UK's restaurants are allowed to reopen, we're a long way off yet. Today is the first day of being put back into a lockdown situation where hospitality is not allowed to open. It's just another another notch in the uh, in the death march for for the industry. It's not good. It's not good, but there's not much that can be done. And I think, like, the fact of the matter is... Oh, okay, that was fine. No, he did it again! The fact of the matter is, is that it's not hospitality and going out to pubs and restaurants that are causing the problem here. Really. Because the thing is, so... In order to go out for lunch or dinner these days, or to go to the pub, I say these days, you're not allowed to do that anymore, but you had to give over some contact information, scan in with an app so that your details were registered, so that should anyone with the virus come in, you can be notified if you need to get a test or not. You have to sanitise your hands as you come in. It was just, yeah, the belly flop was what was needed. That was just an absolute disaster. You have to sanitise your hands as you come in, and several times throughout. Has it given us two pity masks? Doing that badly, huh? You have to sanitise your hands as you come in and throughout your time in the restaurant. Everyone is, like, masked up. They're... There isn't really any safer place to be. If you're going to go out in the height of all this nonsense that's going on, you can't really go anywhere safer than a pub or restaurant. Because everyone's putting in so much effort to keep things safe. Because the repercussions of it not being safe are huge. Oh, it was a double sympathy mask. Oh, dear. That's really not good. So... Like, we, we can't afford to get it wrong. Whereas there are so many other settings that are not ideal places to go. And where the spread is much more intense. I don't know. As an industry, we are. I, I think we're being unfairly punished a little bit. But I anticipate. I, I appreciate that there's not really much to do about it. The biggest problem of all is that it is relying on people's common sense, and sometimes people haven't got a great deal of that, and that has definitely shown a lot this year. Oof, alright, we're done with that at long last. All we've got to do now is not die before getting another checkpoint. Because if we die before getting another checkpoint, we've got to do all of that all over again. Having said all of that, though, okay, I, I, I miss being at work. Like, don't get me wrong. I do miss being at work. We should have definitely just taken out the boxes before the TNT. Never mind. I definitely miss being at work. However, I am glad to not be working throughout all of this constant rule changing and uncertainty and that sort of thing. Because I wouldn't be able to handle learning new sets of rules every week and being able and having to deal with people who aren't being sensible it's it's no fun at all so as much as i do want to get back to work i'm glad to not be working especially now over christmas as well it's 
a very, very difficult time for, 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 for everybody to be working, of course. Oopsie daisy. And also, from a purely selfish point of view, this is probably... This is the first Christmas season I have had off in my entire working career, basically. I haven't had a Christmas... Both a Christmas and a New Year off in seven years. I've always been working. And this is the first time that I stand to have both off. And don't get me wrong, like, I, I don't mind working those occasions. Because they are good fun. I, I'm with friends. A lot of my friends work in the same industry, so it's... It, you just get to hang out. And it's very difficult to kind of arrange stuff with any of my friends who don't work in the industry because their schedules are so, so varied. You know, I'm friends with nurses who work insane... 12 hour shifts that we can't line up I have, I have friends of people friends of people who work in offices who just do a 9 to 5 uh, I have friends who do freelance work so their, their schedules are completely out of whack because they're entirely dependent on their clients needs and so it's really tough to actually kind of do something for New Year's for someone who works in a bar so I'm more than happy to work over New Year, and it's all—it's always a good vibe. Like it's always good fun. You know, screw that noise. It's always good fun. Like, I really, really don't mind it. However, I am enjoying the idea of being able to not work it for a change. <laughs> I mean, but the, the the problem is, is that I'm crash. Come on. The problem is, in not working it on this year, it's not like I can go anywhere and have a party about it, you know. So, swings and roundabouts for sure. Swings and roundabouts. Alright, we have beaten this level at last. How far are we in? Three quarters of an hour into the stream and we have finally... Finally beaten a level. And we're on, what was it? 74? Ish? Deaths? I don't really know. I don't remember. We don't need to see that. Okay. Ruination is our next plan of attack. I'm not I'm not whinging about my situation either. I'm a lot more fortunate than a lot of people. A lot of people are really, really struggling at the moment. And I and I know that. So I'm, I'm not complaining about my situation because it could be a hell of a lot worse and people have got it a hell of a lot worse. I guess a real, a real big advantage of not working at the moment is that it does leave a lot more time to stream. Which I'm very, very glad for. However, I will be taking a small break for Christmas. I want to go and spend some time with my family. Because the government is letting us do that. Just a little bit. Although, they did let us know that they were allowing us to do that in a rather patronising way. Our Prime Minister comes on, uh, on TV today and says, uh, Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I do mean Little Christmas. What he essentially means by that is, you know, go and see your family, just don't see all of them. for, And don't see all of them for very long. See your family, spend some time with them, just don't see all of the family and don't spend too much time with them. I think is basically the message he was trying to give. Ah, oh, we timed that badly. It's okay though. The problem with his announcements is that he's... And he, this isn't the first time he's done it. It's the fact that it kind of... It's like a pop culture reference that doesn't need to be made, you know? Like, everyone's already having a miserable enough time about... Not being able to spend Christmas as they want to. And 
by including like a merry little like I, I, I think it's quite flippant to go to say something like have yourself a merry little Christmas referencing the song you'll know the one have yourself a merry little Christmas or however it goes right you'll know the one like, by referencing that song, when a lot of people aren't going to get to spend much time with their families at all this year, feels very kind of like flippant. And he did it with something else recently as well, and I was like, this, this just doesn't need to be... It doesn't need to be said. I get the reference. It's one that everyone can understand and acknowledge, and they go, oh yeah, I, I know that song. That's Yeah, 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 I know that. And I... Oh, that was never going to work. That was never going to work. And I do get it, but at the same time, it's just... It feels very kind of, like, flippant and just... Like, a little bit inconsiderate, really. But... What do I know? I am but a humble internet streamer. I am not a politician, mercifully. Can you imagine me as a politician? Imagine me as Prime Minister. Everyone has that though, right? Everyone kind of says to themselves like, Oh, I wish I was Prime Minister. I could I could be the Prime Minister for the day. And everyone has their itinerary of stuff that they would implement. I'm intrigued to know what other people would do. It gives you a good insight into people. It lets you know what they consider important. So, for instance, my big thing is if I were Prime Minister, I would shut down 95% of TV channels here in the UK. Because it makes TV really dull to watch. And I'll tell you why. Because you've got... Oh, you've got hundreds you know, more or less thousands of TV channels, okay? And by having that many, the funding for TV is spread far too thinly. So rather than making a few really top quality programs, you make tons upon tons of rubbish. And it's just not... It's just not worth it. Like, I rely pretty much solely on streaming services. I do not watch TV just because it is so insufferably awful. Oh, we're going to get burnt! Oh, we didn't get burnt. That's cool. Uh, it is so un insufferably bad. And I think that that problem could be remedied very, very easily by just... Cutting all of the TV channels in half. So here in the UK, okay, we've got some. As some people may be familiar, we've got the BBC, the British Broadcasting Cooper Corporation. Not cooperation. That was a really, really dumb death as well. That didn't need to happen. The British Broadcasting Corporation, and that is funded by the citizens of the UK. They pay what's called a license fee. And that is to say that every year, if you want to have a TV in your house that can receive broadcast TV channels, you have to pay whatever it is. I think it's like 80 odd pound or whatever to the TV licensing company. And then that money gets funneled into the BBC to create top quality programming content, except it very rarely does. And part of the problem with that is that there is a BBC One, BBC Two. There was a BBC Three, which has been completely relegated to online streaming, as well as a BBC Four, I believe, is still existent. There is also BBC Five, Six, and I believe Seven as well, although Five, Six, and Seven are radio channels. But even still, it's a division that's of the same, the same. Uh, it's under the same umbrella, I guess. You also have BBC Parliament. Uh, BBC News, BBC News 24, BBC America exists. I think there's so much stuff. There doesn't need to be that much stuff. 
You need BBC One and BBC Two, and that is it. BBC Three just makes trash online programs for late teens or uh, like young adults. That isn't really any good. Don't at me. BBC Four makes documentaries for the elderly. You know I'm right. And I'm not saying that there isn't a place for that stuff. I'm just saying, like, there doesn't need to be a whole channel for that stuff. I went through the TV guides uh, about a month or so ago. And of the terrestrial ch channel, the terrestrial TV channels we have here in the UK, there, there, are, there are five. Okay, way, way back in the Dark Ages, BBC was first, then came ITV. So you had BBC One and BBC Two, then ITV came along, and then Channel Four, and then that was followed by Channel Five. And I remember the launch of Channel Five, and it, it felt quite exciting at the time. But that gives you an insight into how uneventful my childhood was, I suppose. But I was looking at the TV guide for Channel Five because. Then, like, this was like a couple of months ago, they were showing Christmas films and repeats of Friends, I think it was, or something like that, right? And I was, I was looking at it and I thought, just out of curiosity, I'm going to have a look and see how many of the programmes on Channel 5 on this day are repeats. And... Like there may have been like 25 programs on that day maybe something like that 25 programs of those 25 20 of them were repeats and two of those repeats were of programs that had been shown earlier in the day so essentially what I had was 18 repeats and then two repeated repeats The ones that are left were either films, which have probably been shown before, but it doesn't indicate that in the TV guide, or the news. And even then, surely there comes a point where that's just a repeat as well. You know, it, it, it's absolutely absurd. And I'm not, so, obviously, if there's room for... These are fake, by the way. So, obviously, if there's room in the schedule to the point where you can only have five legitimate, like, five broadcast, like, premiere programs, then there is absolutely wiggle room to cull the vast majority of TV channels and move all of that programming around to one of the channels that is filled up with, tw like, 20 hours of repeats. I said it the other day. Judge Judy... CBS Reality shows Judge Judy for 10 hours straight every day. Why why, why is CBS putting money into that TV channel? I like Judge Judy. Don't get me wrong. 10 hours? You telling me there's nothing better CBS can be spending its money on? Oh, that was going to happen. What an exciting life you have. Jay, I haven't worked in seven months. That is all I have to do. Is get angry about things I can't control. Uh, I think we're on about like 75 deaths, by the way. I kind of lost count because I started talking about Japanese food. Seventy-five ish. I say, I lost count. I went out for Japanese food yesterday and got stuck talking about it. Hey, that's seventy-six. I made my webcam bigger as well. My face ain't so small in the screen anymore. 75 in total, not 75 on top of the 69.
outraged and appalled that you think me that bad. What's going to get me at some point in this level is the fact that there's a small delay after exploding out of the dirt. And I know that I, it's going to mess up my button presses. And that's going to cost me a life. That was risky. That was risky. That didn't feel good. When I left the floor there, that didn't feel good. Slow is fast. Got to remember that. So I think the armored armadillos, you can destroy by belly flopping on them. But I'm not sure that I want to risk that too, too much. Uh, what do you reckon? Can I slide jump out? No, 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 no. That ain't going to happen. Did I buy a controller? No, I, uh, I just took one from downstairs. <laughs> uh, it turns out that... It required no synchronizing to my computer at all. Crash, you didn't destroy him, and that cost me some some calm. Yeah, uh, it, uh, but I'm, it is plugged in at the moment because I wasn't sure on its charge level, and I don't I don't know what I don't want to unplug it or for whatever. It works. That's what's important. I said it at the top of the stream as well. This should make Spyro a lot more tolerable as well. Have we missed anything? Oh, have I got to do that again? Yeah, I have, haven't I? That was just a... Yeah, I've got to do that again. Wait, were there any boxes in that level? Or was that... That was for the purple gem, wasn't it? There were no boxes in that bit. I haven't got to do that again. Let's just play to the end. If uh, if we're missing boxes, then we know where they are. <laughs> There's certainly a, quite a bit of replaying that we're going to have to do at some point. We have got to go back and gather. You're not supposed to come out until I walk past. That's... I mean, it's a death, it counts, but it shouldn't count because, again, the game cheated. The game just can't... Why are you coming out before I walk past? That's not how that mechanic is supposed to work. You're driving home? Okay. Don't, don't have me on while you're driving because it's only going to stress you out. I think that brings our total to 77-ish. You can't come out before I walk past you! It's the rules of gentleman's combat. I mean, like, gentleman's combat when a gentleman is fighting bees. Which is a lot rarer these days. It's important to save the bees, so I've been told. Don't really know how you go about doing that. Isn't it kind of up to the flowers? How do you save bees without flowers? Oh, okay. That's an unexpected interaction. A ton of crates missed, but they're all nitros, so we'll take care of those a bit later. OBS, OBS has finally updated! I was about to say, it still says 8 minutes. I've just looked over and now it says 58! At last! Steady on, my friend. Steady on. And it's accurate, too. <laughs> Get out of town. Is there another way out of this level as well? Or is that... I think that's one of the other ones. Yeah, it must be one of the other ones, because I can see... Hey! No! Uh, uh. Just when you think it's safe to come out of the ground, the bees return. Coming soon to a theatre near you. 
behaving badly. Honey? What? We're gonna need some bigger insect repellent. Coming soon, December 24. Nice. That should do us for the level 94 out of 94. Perfect. Another full house. That's what I like to see. Go on, Crash. Get out of here. Good effort. Oh, what a car crash. What a car crash. Now, <laughs> what am I referring to? Pretty much everything about today. Oh. Behaving. Oh, fantastic. Full house. Uh oh. Crash. I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the Evolver Ray. Right. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. So his cortex just. His, his cortex. Yellow. He's at it again. He will attempt to or is it. A yellow headpiece. Because if he's yellow, what is the N on his forehead? Is that a tattoo? Or if it's a headpiece, has it been specifically engineered to have gaps in it for his hair to come out? I don't know. We ask the important questions here. Anyway, it's time for Engine. And... As always, in Crash Bandicoot, engine bosses are the best. They're just, they're super fun. Super fun, super inventive, just really cool. So we, we're armed with Wumpa Fruit and we just need to fling them at the glowing bits of his machine. I'm not sure how many hits per bit. Looks like five? Okay, not quite. Six. Okay, so we got six on this left one. Seven, eight. Okay, about ten hits for each bit of apparatus. I mean, how am I supposed to hit it from there? Come on. So we just need to take out this other fist. Oh, that cut it fine, but we managed it. Okay, now we got the shoulder pads. Which launch missiles. I'm a bit concerned that none of those fruits seemed to hit, despite the fact that it was open and flashing. But you know what, never mind. Oh, that was a good that was a good volley there. We got a load into the shoulder right there. That was good. Number one's buzzing. I think these ones are just a lucky dip. Really, this is when you're going to do your work. Number two just seems to be indestructible. Can you... Do you have to destroy them in numerical order? If so, I don't remember that being a feature of the original. No, because I'm doing damage to two when it's open like that. Oh well. I'm sure it's intentional game design. So now we just have to do the damage to number two. Which isn't too tricky. There you are. This is where you this is where you get it in, right there, when he launches a missile across. Bolt over it. It's no bother. Yeah, number two seems to be a a much better armed than number one number one. No pun intended. But it's definitely hold it's definitely hanging on for longer. Still, never mind. And now we just have the final stage of the boss. And then that's it. We need to attack the beam in the middle before it destroys the platform that we're on. I'm not going to go to him. He can come to me. Does he go back in the middle? He does. Easy. 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 
absolutely no effort whatsoever. I love the engine battles, they're so fun. Fantastic. Anybody out there? If you are enjoying the stream, be sure to drop in a little follow. Say hi in chat as well. Be nice to... Uh, nice to chat. How are we doing? I think we've got all of the coloured gems now. We have. Okay. So I reckon... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's... Go on then. Let's go. Let's go up to warp room number five. This is it. The final warp room. These are the final levels that we have to deal with. So let's get underway. Or let's not. Cutscene first. What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. I would if you they stopped interrupting. Crystals crash and bring them to me. I'm trying, but you keep on interrupting. Alright, never mind. Let's go. Piston it away. I like these levels, the like the, this uh, this level theming. I quite, I've always enjoyed levels that have got like moving parts to them, and this one is certainly one of those ones. Pistons and all that kind of stuff. It's a little a little nerdy like of mine, I guess. Factory and industrial levels are just always I I've always always enjoyed them. Pistons, conveyor belts, you name it, all that kind of stuff. Just some of my favourite level typings. Gonna set a personal goal. Seeing as how Jay is driving home, where is he? So it's five to five to eight was when you said he was driving home. It's been ten minutes, so he should be home in about another half hour, maybe forty minutes. So I want to see if we can be most of the way finished before he rejoins. Let's see, it's gonna be tight. Especially because we got a couple of the jetpack levels coming up, which may as well be water levels for how much I enjoy them and for how easy they are to control. Spoilers, they're not. And that's about as close as I'm going to get to that fruit. The timing for these guys is kind of tricky. If you get it wrong, you get zapped, but the, the zappy parts of them kind of extend a little bit further than it looks like they should. As for these walkers, I, I, I don't know, they've, all, they've always given me an odd vibe. I don't really like them. Alright, we made it all the way. We got ourselves a death route. I'll take that up to the heavens. Show me the way to Amarillo or the next alternative. Amarillo is Texas, isn't it, I think? Not very good on my US geography. Not very good on my UK geography either. Not very good on geography. Let's just let's just go for the blanket statement. And it's not for want of trying. In school, I was pretty good at geography. There you go, you see? The electro parts just are sometimes not where it looks like they are. What does that put us on now? Let's just call it 80. I feel like 80 is a safe bet for deaths. But yeah, I was alright at geography in school. I remember doing very well in geography at school. For like the for the important stuff, like countries, their flags, capitals, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. The stuff that's actually interesting to learn about in geography. When it came to, you know, things like uh, GDP per capita, no idea. Oxbow Lakes. I know what they are, but have never had to reference Oxbow Lakes since becoming an adult. 
other than when talking about how little I have had to reference Oxbow Lakes since becoming an adult. We got it, we got it, we got it! Crash! What's that? 81 now, maybe? Uh, learning how to make footballs. There was a lot of focus at one point in my geography lessons at school on how footballs are made and the football industry as a whole, how much people are paid and how much exploitation goes on and that kind of thing. I was like, this feels like it's getting a little bit above geography station. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is similar to that ice level, but kind of the opposite this time. I think you need to beat the whole level and then go back for the death route. Geography? Uh, are you home already? You can't be home already. That's not fair. Don't type and drive. Oh, you're in traffic. Okay, good. How far away are you? Haven't left yet? Beautiful. Not sure if you were present when I said, but I'm setting myself the challenge to try and have the majority of Warp Room 5 done by the time you get home. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. I think we're on 81 for deaths. I doubt it, but whatever. Yeah, I can't. I can't really remember much else about geography. Got to be honest. Igneous, igneous rocks. I remember stuff about those. Igneous, sedimentary, and whatever the other type was. Volcanic. Was that it? Three types of rock: igneous, sedimentary, and volcanic rocks. Think was something or other. I don't really know. Vague, vague memories of learning about erosion. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. It has been a good, like, don't even know. I don't even know. A good sort of 15 ish years. All of that has been pushed out of my brain and replaced with infinitely more important information like, I don't know, crafting recipes and that kind of nonsense. Can lend you my textbook. I'm not that keen to relearn geography. However, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the thought. <laughs> Unless there is a whole section on on um, exploitation of children in the manufacture of footballs, then we might be talking. I don't get why that came under geography, you know. I mean, I guess what other subjects at school would it come under? But... I don't know, it seemed odd. It's like we were, talk we were talking about the other evening, about algebra and Pythagoras in uh, sort of basic, in like entry level education. Uh, learning about exploitation of children in football feels like a more specialised kind of geography that you have to want to learn about. <laughs> or not even geography. Is it geography? No. It's to do with countries, I guess, but... You can boil anything down to being, as a result, like, to do with countries. Oh, that was never going to work. I'm unsure on the proper order in which to do this level, because now it begins, it begins to feel like you should do the death route first. 
so that you can destroy the nitros and then come back this way. I don't know. We'll do it this way, though. We're, we're already on the way. Beautiful. Quick preview of the level to come. Shouldn't be too strenuous for us. How come these guys don't set off the laser beams? Excuse me. No. No. Thank you. what I thought. How many more boxes have I got in this level? It looks like there's some stuff going on up ahead. Mostly nitros though. Give me the life. I need it. Trying to push me into a piston? It's not going to happen. Alright, and that concludes the level. So we now need to try and make it back, I think. So that we can take on the death route. And preferably do so without dying. Oof. Yeah, I don't. Re I don't really know how to deal with that bit correctly. And I get the feeling that now we have died. Oh, all of them fired. Ugh. Now that we have died. Three times. The platform is not going to exist anymore. Every single one fires! It's tough to do. Four. I don't get it! What's the best way to do this? Ah, oh, that's how you do it. You just have to die often enough to get the mask or just cheese it. You can just cheese it as well. Is the death route still available to us? If it is, I shall be very surprised. That's not going to help us in the least because we need that to be able to jump up here. Unless <laughs> you cheese it, but the death route is no longer there. Does that take us back to the warp room? I don't know. I hope so. Okay, so I think the plan is to do the first part of Deathless, go on the death platform so that it stays permanent, and then die, go back and complete the level, maybe? Something like that. I don't know. Clear gems often appear at the end of death routes. Oh, good! I got that one. I'm not interested in that one. What I want is the box gem. Not to be confused with the box jemmy fish, which is a very dangerous animal. Native to Australia, I believe. Or at least part of it. I don't know if I'm too keen on ever going to Australia, you know. It, it just it seems like a needlessly dangerous place. I'd maybe put it on par with visiting countries in the middle of war. Such as the UK between the uh, the people of the nation and the conservatives. But let's not let's not dwell on that. We don't need to dwell on that. We're here for happy chat, keeping things nice and civil. We don't need to discuss political matters too too much even though we were chatting about Boris Johnson earlier but that was that was in context you know it wasn't just a pointless jibe at the at politicians which is what that one was they're an easy target and don't get me wrong it's got to be a tough job like I'm, I'm prepared to cut politicians a little bit of slack 
no matter what their outlook is. It's a tough job. For sure. I'm not going to deny them that privilege, but it, it baffles me that they can get it so wrong sometimes. Unless... Oh, see, I don't want to waste a double mask on all this, but... Let's take the death route. This way, at least the platform won't disappear should we die. Maybe we can just be hopeful that we will be able to return back. Let's see, is it still there? It is still there. So maybe this will work out for us. It's nice for somebody else to collide with a nitro for a change. Normally that's a fate reserved for me. You've literally got to land right on the dome. If you land on the arms, it's no good to you, Jim. Oh, you can't make it back, though, because you jump on this guy. And then that's it. And these guys. You literally can't make it back. And now I am sure ooh, that the death platform will no longer be there for us. Because that's just the way things go. Ah, yeah, there was the nitro creep. I'm um, so convinced am I of that that uh, I'm just going to restart the level. We'll go and do a different level. I can't spend so long on that. Ah. <sighs> Never mind that. We'll come back to that at some point. Alright. Our first jetpack level. It's going to be... Horrible. This was, the, this was always the low light of Crash Bandicoot 2. It's the jetpack levels. I can't stand them. A to go forwards. See, it doesn't help that I haven't got a clue what these buttons are on here either. A forwards, B backwards, and I've still got a spin. And then the arrow keys to decide on height. Oh, we even got some speed lines there. It's probably the only time we're going to get those. This is going to be like high concentration zone though. I had stopped spinning, but whatever you say. I think you just have to kind of bop into it. Yeah. I don't even know what the death count, the death count is on now. I've kind of lost sight of that. Okay, yep. Just gonna... The controls for these just do not feel intuitive to me at all. Where we've spent an entire game pressing up on the control pad to go forwards, all of a sudden now up is up. It just doesn't feel very intuitive. I would much, I would prefer the control scheme to be like forward is forward and X and B are up and down. Rather than what we're working with here. And that is not an option that I can configure, unfortunately. All I can do is invert the controls, I can't change the actual setup. That'll do. 
Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give He's in. There's anyone, uh, if there's anyone in chat that's playing Cyberpunk at the moment, I'd be interested to know what people's thoughts are. I've heard relatively mixed things about it. Everyone seems to have a different opinion on how good it is. Or not. So I'd be interested to know what the, uh, what the consensus is among, among everyone. I'm asking pretty much everyone. Because... The feedback I have heard has been so varied. I watched a little bit of uh, stream the other day, a little bit of Morgan's stream, and it, it looked okay. Did I miss this last time? Like, it looked okay, but similarly it didn't look like the prettiest game I've ever seen, which is what it was being flogged as. There was also a load of audio glitches and odds and ends like that. And I I have heard it's not it's basically being held together with string and tape at the moment. The opening day patch was something outrageous like 15 gigs or something crazy. 25 out of 39, these had better be there better have been 14 nitros in this level. Thank God for that. The less I have to spend playing these levels, the better. And there is another one. And so I'm glad to have gotten the first one out of the way so seamlessly. Relatively seamlessly. Oh. I think I need to take the arms off of this chair, you know. Or maybe lower them a bit. They're a little bit too high. I kind of see here, I find myself eventually kind of like just hunching up like this. I'm not very comfortable. The comfortable place for my arms to be when I'm playing is kind of back here, which is off of the cushion of the arm. But then it kind of puts my shoulders up a bit. And then if I put it forward, it just doesn't feel as comfortable. I don't know. It's not good. Ooh, talking of a bad back. There we go. Check my own posture for now. Friendly flyer, friendly fireflies will help light your way. Fireflies is one of my guilty pleasure songs. And I only say it's a guilty pleasure song because it's not really in my... the kind of music I listen to. But I, I feel like it's a good song. Flows quite nicely. I think it's good. I just wouldn't necessarily have it on my iPod. Oh, Death Root. Okay. Remember what we come up against. If we kill everything now, it'll be safe. There's a hole in the narrow tunnel. That's about it. Because we will not have the benefit of the Firefly to guide us back. We'll just have to feel our way back slowly. Alright, I've got a checkpoint for me there though, so that's that. Now. Uh, I probably shouldn't have taken the Dragonfly though. Actually, I'm, I'm not, probably not ready to go back yet. Because we need to find out where the path ends. Fortunately, they have brightened these levels up a bit for the remaster. Oh, it's a, it's a considerable distance here. Because in the original Crash 2, you could not see a thing once the Firefly left. So the fact that they're a little bit brighter and you can see things reflecting off of, uh, off of surfaces and objects and that kind of thing, it's very, very useful. 
Except when it ain't. No excuse for that. Blown up in broad daylight there. This would be a problem level to speedrun, these dark levels here. This would be my main concern if I went back to revisit the idea of speedrunning this game, would be dark levels. Maybe the way to do it is to, rather than try and 100%, maybe it's better to just kind of any percent first to get some training in. We have been gifted with a, another Firefly to light part of our way back. However, that will only last us a certain amount of time. And there it goes. Oh wait, they respawn! That was never a feature in uh, the, uh, the originals either. So that's a very useful perk for us. Because we killed all of the enemies on the way here, it should be a relatively uneventful walk back. we just got to be careful of those. And the nitro right there. And there's a hole here. I remember taking note of that. And then we get all the way back. And we could take the death route. I hope. There it is. Lovely jubbly. Nice. The only downside is that we have to do that. Oh, the firefly stuck. <laughs> the only downside is that we have got to redo that route back. Should we die along here? So hopefully we do not. I shall endeavour not to. I knew that one was going wrong. It was the... As soon as I did the jump there, I was like, we're going to have to replay. I am... Suddenly the task does feel less daunting, though. At least the fireflies reappear. And the levels themselves have been lightened up. So... It's not as much of an arduous task as it used to be in the original Crash Bandicoot 2. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> Let me tell you. I think I can probably wave goodbye to... See ya! Still, it just hovers there. Probably wave goodbye to having Warp Room 5 completed by the time Jay gets home, though. That feels like it's a little bit, uh, in the words of Funeral for a Friend, out of reach. But we will see what we can do. I must have taken out a few enemies there for the fruit. We got rid of him. Got our gem. The advantage is no boxes this way. Well, it certainly seems that way, at least. Uh, look at that. He spoke too soon. However, they are accessible, though. At least in theory. They are indeed accessible. We do need to just backtrack to see if we can find those nitro crates. Because I, I... Oh, is this them here? I think this was them. Because I assumed that they marked the point where the paths reconvened. And that is kind of true, it looks like. But I, uh, I expected them to be a bit nearer to the path openings than that. And that should do it. All the nitros, kaboom! Are we there? Yeah! Look at that. All in one, we get the jeweled face at the bottom again. That's what I like to see! Oh, no. Where are we at? 8.30. Ooh. We could do it. Hour and a half left. We could beat Crash 2 tonight. I think we can do it. I'm going to get this second uh, jetpack level out of the way right now. Oh my goodness me. Loads of people streaming this evening. That's where everybody is. <laughs> ba -bow, ba -bow. All right. Pack attack. Or should that be...
pack a tack. <laughs> you know how it is. Ayo is the egg savior. He returneth to grace our presence once more. Good evening, my friend. How are you? Welcome. We're having a right old right old ball this evening. Enjoying the the Crash Bandicoot equivalent of swimming levels, at least in Crash 2. I hate the controls for these levels! Oh, they are so, so bad. I hate them all. And Iron Chad as well. Hello! Good evening to you both. The nth return. A space level? That's certainly next level. This is... This is basically as close as this game gets to underwater levels. And they are just as horrible as underwater levels. They're just uncontroll uncontrollable. Or I, I just don't find the controls very intuitive for these levels. As uh, I was explaining earlier, I think it's mostly to do with the fact that you spend this entire game pushing up to go forwards. And now... You're pushing up to go up. I think if... Uh, if up and down still made you go forwards and backwards, uh, then you could use the buttons that I'm currently using to go up and down. Oh, wait. Yeah, up and down to go forwards and back, and then the buttons that I'm using to go forwards and back, you can go up and down with. It's... Uh, it's just not very fun. I don't like these levels at all. No air management. This is true. This is true. But I'd rather have a platforming level with air management than a underwater level with flying, con like a space level that controls like an underwater level. Except worse. Anyway, anyway, we ain't here to listen to me whinge all day. Unless we are. In which case, you know that's what we do here by now. How is everybody else? I hope everyone's alright. Oh, that was a checkpoint. Good. I hope everyone's alright. Apart from my... My whinging. Gotta wait for the third game for the underwater... Exactly. The underwater levels in the third game. Yep, sure, why not? Those are... Those are gonna be a miserable time. I think. Actually, having said that, in the uh, in the third game, I don't feel like the underwater levels were too bad. I think the biggest problem, the biggest problem levels in the third game were the ones where you're Coco riding the jet ski. Those are those are probably the biggest problem levels in the third one for me. I don't mind the ones where she's riding the tiger for the thrill of the fight and rising up to the challenge of her rivals. But the the ones on the jet ski... Go up! See how long it took me there to work out that I needed to press a different button to go up? It's just not intuitive for me. Ah! Oh! <laughs> We're good. Just been watching Jonathan Creek. I remember Jonathan Creek. I only ever caught one episode of Jonathan Creek and it gave me nightmares. <laughs> it was, um... Uh, I've, I've got to try and remember the premise for the episode now. It was like, he went to like a... Uh, a mansion or something like that where people had been staying the night and mysteriously disappearing. And he later found a... like a secret room underneath the bathroom which was full of skulls and stuff where all the missing people had ended up because whenever they went and took a bath like the weight got too much and then it dumped them into this secret room where they drowned or, or, or something like that it's a... I know it, so it sounds weird but that was kind of my that's my memory of the only episode of Jonathan Creek I've seen and that was enough to make me go I don't really want to watch Jonathan Creek anymore <laughs> However, I was quite young 
at that point. So may maybe I could go back to it with more adult eyes and it would be a lot better. I want to I want to see if I'm going mad or not about that. I'm going to look that up in a minute. Mum used to watch it and I remember it scaring me. Nay, never seen an episode. So as, at least at least it's not just me. At least like at least it has got potential to be scary. At least I'm not just a total wuss. Um, is this supposed to be a comedy or a drama? Because I know it's got Alan Davis in it. So on the one hand, I'm thinking, yes, it's supposed to be a comedy, but also has grounds to be a drama because of the subject matter. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Then the transition works. All right, let's go. Let's look up Jonathan Creek for a second. And see what we get. We could do with a do with a break. Uh, right. So this comes here. Maybe uh, can I just get like a list of yeah list of episodes by synopsis? Um, I'm just gonna like search for bath. No, that doesn't exist. Okay. Um. <laughs> Drown? No. Um, had something to do with the bed as well. Bed? No. Okay. Did I just dream this? Like, I don't want to look for all of these to try and find it. Let's look at, let's look at, let's, okay, I'm going to look at the, like, episode titles and see if that gives me any clue. Maybe, oh, I can look for disappears as well. Okay, there's a couple of mentions of that. Oh, your second series. Oh, this probably isn't helpful then. I might be giving you accidental spoilers. So maybe I'll just, I'll just go back to my my face for a moment so you don't see anything. Um, having said that, it looks like actually, just kind of reading through some of these, it looks like they're quite good about not giving away the spoiler or anything like that. Oh, pfft, I don't know what any of these are. Okay, well, there, there, there was something like that. I'm sure if I give it a more time to look through. Because that was the thing, I was just looking for... The, the points I know, and that, that's all I remember is kind of like the various... It ain't there. It ain't there. But um, from what I've been led to believe, I don't, it's all on iPlayer. I need to get a TV license for that. <laughs> well, or I could not get a TV license. I mean, get one. <laughs> it's the second time we've been talking about the license fee this evening. <laughs> we talk about all the contemporary raging hot topics here. <laughs> Because I know they uh, they changed the law about being able to watch catch-up TV without a TV license. They did that like three years ago. But I don't know for 100% what that rule is. Let's do the coloured gem path first, why not? 100% internet based, living the true Zuma life. Of course. Everything I watch now is on streaming services. Or YouTube. It's stuff on YouTube. 4OD. You know, need to get my weekly fix of... Oh, bad move, bad move. Of whatever. Uh, ITV Hub. Final episode of Hell's Kitchen tonight, I think. Oh, bad move again. Um, Amazon Prime. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Endless amounts, endless seasons of Dog the Bounty Hunter on Amazon Prime. 
a new uh, Grand Tour special coming up in a couple of days. Which I'm looking forward to as well. There's no need for TV right now. Amazon, grrr. Not allowed to say that. Amazon owns Twitch. I've got to, uh... I've got to be nice to Amazon. <laughs> Having said that, the dude's got far too much money. Other than that, great. You're good, boss. <laughs> I have destroyed you. Nah, it's all good. Honestly, if Jeff Bezos or... Oh, he's done it again! If Jeff Bezos or a representative from Amazon finds themselves watching this stream, then I pity them, because they've got, surely got more important things to be doing with their time. Like enjoying a nice meal with their family. Or... Staring at the wall. <laughs> Praise be to our Amazon overlords. Weep silently. The thing is, I, so... I got Amazon Prime for the free trial, right? As I think most people did. This is a difficult timing right here. That's very difficult. I got Amazon Prime for the uh, on the free trial. I was like, you know, right at the very start of lockdown. So way back in March, I got Amazon Prime because it was on the free trial, and I was like, ah, you know what? <laughs> like, you know what? They'll probably be quite good. You know, I'd be stuck indoors for ages, so I may as well get. 30 day trial I can make I can binge watch whatever I want and then by the time the 30 day trial is up be back to work everything's solved <laughs> how wrong I was and so I've just kind of found myself having to keep it so that I've got stuff to do at the moment also the free twitch prime sub helps by the way if you haven't used your free Amazon Prime Twitch sub. There are worse things you could do with it than uh, use it here. <laughs> um, up to you, of course. Don't feel like you have to. Um, I was going to say. Um, so yeah, I, I found myself stuck with it. And I have used Amazon for various products and stuff for delivery and he's done it especially now rolling into christmas and it kills me to do that because like i say the man's got too much money i sh shouldn't be giving him any more but everywhere's been closed again i haven't been able to go anywhere to to shop the only option has been jeff bezos Which sucks but... never mind Nice. We break into the Mzzn warehouse and get all the workers to dance, eventually melting Mr. Bezos' heart, and he sees the error of his ways. You know he abuses his employees, allegedly. You know, by that I mean like zero hour contracts and that, and that kind of thing. Don't mean he goes in there and whips them. Unless... No, I do As far as I know, he does not do that. It's okay, if Jeff Bezos bans me from Twitch, I can just stream on YouTube instead. What if we kissed in the wage cage? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless... <laughs> hey, gem acquired. This my, this kind of become like my favourite like mini meme at the moment is just sort of like, hey, we could uh, 
we could meet up in a group of 12 people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless... No, no but... We could, we're not allowed to meet up in a group of 12. Although... <laughs> Alright, Crash, come on, back in we go. Unless we immediately split up into two groups of six. Yeah, as long as it's outside. Two groups of six. Just sitting on different sides. Why? Oh, something weird is going on in OBS tonight. It's just come up with the welcome to the chat room message, which is what it puts at the start of the stream. Unlike... I, I don't know. Whatever. According to one part of the stream, I've been streaming for two hours. According to another part of the software, I've been streaming for, like, 20 minutes. OBS is messed up tonight. Never mind. There's been loads of technical issues tonight. So, frankly, it's a miracle that we're still going. But never mind. There's a card reader somewhere. <laughs> it mostly behaves. That's the thing. I, it, it does mostly behave. Occasionally, occasionally it throws a wobbly. And you know what? Who doesn't? I... Like me, I'm going to throw one right now. Pity Mask? That was the first death of the level. You can't do that to me. Do you know who I am? And then you're going to take it away from me like that as well? This is outrageous. I know I said I don't do it earlier, but um, can I speak to the manager, please? I'm extremely dissatisfied with the service that I have received here this evening. Gonna leave a Google review. Two stars. I had fun, but it definitely didn't play along in the way that uh, it advertised it would. <laughs> Game's taking shots. It, it has been. I am the producer of tax. The problem... Right, the problem is... My muscle memory for this game is... See, I was stood on the hot bit there. Previously, that took my mask away, and now it's not. There's no consistency. Anyway, as I was saying, my problem is that my muscle memory for this game is coded specifically for the original game. And I haven't adapted. In the original game, you could jump on the arms of these creatures. As long as you didn't touch the electricity, you were fine. You could jump on the arms. You could also chain skids together. You can't... Well, that was destined to happen. You can't do that on this one, because then he just starts crawling. And... I haven't adjusted. I know, streamer excuses, but... Was it because you exceeded... Was it because you exceeded 100 Tutti Fruits? Uh, what? Stuck in the past, or stuck in the past, old man. Look, things were better in my day. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but back in my day, you could jump on the electrified arms of these tendrilled creatures without getting electrocuted. And I'm not saying I'm against change or progress, but I definitely do not agree with these new changes. And some people will say, you know what, it'll just take time, you'll just need to get used to them. And to that I say, you know what, I shouldn't have to get used to them. I've lived my life, I've done my bit, I've paid my taxes, for the most part. Kidding. I've paid all of my taxes. And... I just feel like I'm due a return. Your grey hairs are starting to show. I right, so this may be a bit TMI, but we're we're gonna go there anyway. I found my first grey hair. Right. And it was a nostril hair. Like why is that acceptable? Not only was it a nostril hair, it was like... It was long. I could... I could grab it 
not grab it like with my hat, but I could. It, it poked out my nose, and I could hold it. And I was like, why? Why, first of all, has a nasal hair been able to grow to this length? In the first case. Secondly, why is it grey? Thirdly, why is it my first grey hair? As far as I'm concerned, that's totally unacceptable. What isn't unacceptable, yes, double negative, is the fact that I've now just put that information on the internet for everybody. <laughs> Enjoy that. That's perfectly non-TMI. Oh, okay. We'll talk about my nasal hairs more often then. So for a second, you're going to go to the get good zone. No, I ain't going to the get good zone. You seen the kinds of clips he ends up with? I want my good wholesome clips. I don't want to be clipped saying... Stu saying NSFW stuff like he does. <laughs> Mostly because I make those clips. But <laughs> I was expecting it to be somewhere else. I don't think I could bring myself to share it if it were anywhere else. Gross. <laughs> Ooh, Nick has such a mature and grown-up nose. It's probably the most grown-up part of me. Don't read into that. Don't clip that. There was me saying, Nick, what comes around? There you go, there's your opportunity right there. <laughs> Ugh, oh, darn it. The thing is, because OBS isn't updating the numbers, I won't even know if you've done it or not until the end. <laughs> I can just do it myself, put myself out of misery. <laughs> Please call it like, get good's revenge. Put it in his Discord. Come on, just... Can we move this along, please? I'm on a time frame here. I need to get Warp Room 5 done before Jay gets home. And we are actually looking like it could be done. Oh, Dan. Don't know who Dan is. Well, I specifically named Dan. I think it was supposed to be Dang, but the G was silent. Don't know any Dan Gs. Other than Dan Giesling, but I don't know him. Grown up and mature. <laughs> Bashful Whale Optimize Prime. Why? What's wrong with Prime? Other than the fact that it hasn't got various shows on there that I wish it did have. But that's just because I'm too tight to pay for a Netflix subscription. I love. I honestly love the the clip names. Sometimes they are so good. Such a great collection of words come about, and like a disproportionate amount of the time. They are normally so apt. You have to ask whether or not there's, like, the algorithm knows. <laughs> A blessed name indeed. Bought to us from the Bezos father himself. Optimized Prime. You heard him, Bezos. Optimized Prime. Unless it's supposed to be Optimus Prime. Also, Muddy Bashful Whale perfectly describes... You remember when the wh that whale got washed up in the River Thames? All those years ago? You can bet that it was probably quite muddy and feeling very bashful about that situation. I feel like the thought process for a beached whale is probably like... Goes from, oh my god, I'm naked, to, oh my god, I'm gonna die. There's one in the Hudson now. Where are these whales going? I mean, I understand, like, there's not much... You, there's no signage, there's no road directions. Oh no! Who could have foreseen this plot development? Fool! Oh, 
That's like the prerequisite to being a bad guy, is you need to have the perfect diction and cadence for the phrase, YOU FOOL! <laughs> every bad guy's catchphrase, and every single one can nail it. YOU FOOL! It was Ob's voting as an elector. <laughs> Damage his jetpack to keep him from escaping. Oh, of course, the final boss is a water level. I mean, space level. Functionally the same. You've got to end every sentence with an ejective consonant. What? What is... I like to think that I'm reasonably well-versed in ink. What is an ejective consonant? I like how back in the day this boss was so obscure that they've had to put instructions for completing it in the remaster. And I know it's something to do with spinning asteroids, or is it to do with spinning the bombs? I'm sure it's the asteroids. Because I'm just messing this up. Or have you just... Do you get near enough to him to spin him? Is that what it is? I don't... I... Move faster, Pokey! Okay, it's to spin him. Fast enough to spin him. Gotcha. Alright, we're doing it, 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 we're drawing even. Go up! I was sure you could spin the asteroids out of the way, at the very least. Otherwise, what's the point in having two two different obstacles? Uh, he did it. Okay, we lost, guys. The end of the world. You really punched the last voice lives plosive and let out a small puff of air. Excellent. Something like that. You fool! <laughs> Was that a Proton John reference? Uh, yes. Proton John was one of the first Let's Players I ever watched. <laughs> I think that's mostly because he was one of the first Let's Players, I think. Oh, double whammy! Are you telling me the explosive mines don't hurt? Unbelievable. We did it. Easy. He was great. I like Proton John. I like Proton John. The closest I get to him now is watching, like, uh... Runaway guys stuff that he does with Chugga Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun. Um, hoping desperately in vain that he finishes Superman 64 playthrough. Superman 64, Superman 64 stream. Let's do it. <laughs> April Fool's Day next year. April Fool's stream. Superman 64. <laughs> Crab frame. That feels like a good idea. Now, do we get credits? I think we get credits. We do. Um We watched the credits for Crash 1. Do I include them for Crash 2 as well? They're functionally the same. I don't think they're as long as the Spyro ones. I don't know. Oh, they are skippable as well. We have we have what we watched the credits through once for the first game, and they are I'm sh ninety percent sure they're the same. If you want the credits, watch the VOD for Crash One. There you go. <laughs> Yes, that'd be so good. Then there's no time to lace. Lace? Waste. Lose? Which was it? Then there's no time to waste. Something like that. But yeah, the, <laughs> the move faster pokey is iconic. Move faster pokey! For the love of God, move faster! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's probably a good point. We probably should do a, a YouTube shout out for the VOD if people want it. There it is. 
All right, back to where it all began, because we got to go gem hunting. What was Hang 8? Hang 8's boxes, I think. It's okay, we get to hang out with the Warper music for a bit. Snowbears! I think that's a bonus level we need to get access to. Air crash, bear it, crash crush, eel deal. They're all done. I got home like 10 minutes ago. Ah, uh, okay. Had I beaten the warp room? By the time you got home? Road to Ruin. Regular J, give to the tier one sub to our Lord and Egg Saviour. And he sh oh, gift. Shed fire, shed rewards, here you go. You gift, giving me another emote, my friend. Very kind, I'm getting so many of these 2020 emotes. Twitch has been like, here, the 2020 emotes, so that we can look back on the year in hindsight. I'm like, no one wants to look back on this year. <laughs> Jay, thank you for the gifted sub. Sam, enjoy. Your, your new sub to the channel. You're doing well, my friends. How many, you've done a... They've gifted six subs so far, Jay. You've done six gifts. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. <gasps> Thank. And a whole heap of my face. Love it. Nope. Oh, no, this one was the alternative entrance. Okay, we can't do anything in this level just yet. That's fine. We need to go and recover all of the gems. Oh, look at the egg. <laughs> in every sense of the phrase. It's okay, we get to listen to the warp room music. And it is beautiful. Your attack sandwich! I... Thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Dugging it. Uh, okay, we can do digging it. Attack sandwich. Oh. Imagine me between two slices of bread. Don't imagine me between two slices of bread. Don't do that. <sighs> He's done it again. <laughs> Sometimes I open my mouth and words come out. And then a couple of seconds later I think to myself, uh, I should have thought a bit harder about that. That should be my next emote. Bread slices so I can make emote sandwich. <laughs> That'd be... Do you know what though, right? So... So here's, here's the... Um... And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Here's what you do. Because so obviously you can sub at different tiers, right? You have tier one, two, and three subs. So I think what you do is if you make like if you make tier one like the bread emote, and then tier two can be like a different filling, and then a different filling for tier three, so that people who sub at tier three you get all three, and you can build the biggest sandwich at tier three, or something like that. I know a couple of streamers do that, where for like different tiered subs, they have uh, different emotes that can be pieced together. So the tier three emote, you have access to all all of the variants, which let you create this almost like this whole new emote between the three. I think that's a really cool idea. I can't do it with mine. Mine are just different versions of my face. But if I had them re if I were to have them redesigned, I would probably look into doing something like that and having it so you can build three you can build the three emotes you get from the subbing at tier three into its own giga emote, basically. If only I was a cooking channel. Look, there there's always room to diversify. You know, you don't have to stick to one thing. It's just about setting up the equipment more than anything. You could have the entire Scyther just completely flawed at a terrible jet. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I say so the uh, the highest the higher tier you sub at, the more you're allowed to laugh at the joke. <laughs> at tier one, all you can do is sigh, even if you really liked it. Oops. At tier three, you can actually go. You know what? That was all right, and express the fact that you thought it was all right. <laughs> We're still a ways away, yet. I, uh... You may need to... I think... Sam, did you draw me up? Did you draw up the Scyther? Because I know you sent me a Scyther... You sent me a Scyther over Twitter. Um... And I didn't save it to my PC, so you may need to... I may need to ask you to send that to me again. At some point. So that I can have it saved and ready. <laughs> Should be on Facebook. I will have a look at that. And I will see. So I know that I know that I have seen it. I can't remember where I have seen it and all the rest of it though. <laughs> Times are dangerous at the moment. Because there's a death route that we haven't triggered. That we are going to need to trigger. Because we come here for the gems. And I'm, obviously I haven't got the death route gem. And I haven't got the box gem either. So we need to do all of the work. What I, what I would like once uh, once we get to a point where I can have like a variety of emotes for different occasions rather than just literally the tier emotes, which is all I've got at the moment, I would like kind of I would like Scyther to be like the main emote brand for the channel, if you like. So you've got like Scyther Wow and uh, Scy Scyther Hype or you, know, you you know the Twitch emotes, like all those kinds of things. But have Scyther doing all the emoting at some point in the future. But that that is Scyther love, of course. But that is so far away at the moment. Oh, it, it, it is on Facebook. All the various sizes that Twitch demands. Yes. That'd be wonderful. We're, st we're, we're still... We, we, get, we always get so... So close. And then the month ends. <laughs> and then people renew their, their subs to other people or, or forget or... Whatever, and then we kind of... We lose a couple of rungs on the ladder. We make it as far as nine. Oh, leave me! Leave me be! And leave me be. <laughs> that was... That was one of the best accidental puns I think I've ever had. Leave me be! Leave me, comma, be. <laughs> Pesky be. Yeah, like, we only ever make it to nine. I'm on eight at the moment. We make it as far as nine. Oh, this is gonna... I haven't got a checkpoint or a mask. This is gonna be bad. I'm not gonna enjoy this. Especially if the crates jump that high. That's not fair. But yeah, we only ever seem to make it as far as nine. You've got to have more simultaneous... Yeah. Whoa, oh, crash! You can't skid off in a direction like that. Yeah, you've got to have them all at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's the thing. We make it as far as nine, and then the month changes over. And then we tend to drop back down to about seven or so. And it's, all, it's always like we get so, so near, and then it all just falls away again. 
Not that I'm complaining at all. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not concerned about numbers. It's a it's a pleasant bonus, the numbers. You know, the, the important thing is that... The important thing is fun, and it always is. No, 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 we can't afford that. The important thing is fun. It all, it's always fun. It's always what's got to come first. However, I do want the Scyther emote really badly. <laughs> I am hoping, slash ass assuming, that once the emote slot is unlocked, you get to keep it. Like, I'm assuming that I haven't got to keep, keep it at 15, and if it drops below, they're going to deprive me of an emote. I would have thought you were allowed to keep it, but I don't know. That's something that remains to be seen. It's like, well, that's easy. We just need to arrange a month where everyone just goes mad. <laughs> if uh, people want to do that, that's fine. Like yesterday, the random the random hype train for get goods. <laughs> No, wait! Uh, oh, no, wait. I picked up the box gem. We're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. And then they're unlocked forever. Checked about a month ago. And once you get them, they're yours. Good. Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> As I say, it's all very well and good everyone going mad on one month. But if what I need is for everyone to go mad every month, then we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, once it's unlocked, you have it forever. Furiously searches for next birthday. April 24th is my birthday. Iron Shed subbed at tier 1 for two months. Thank you. And you got a 2020 emote as well. Doing the part. 2020 pajamas. <laughs> what are some the Where are the 2020 emotes? Are these then? No. Oh, hindsight. I've got 2020 unroll, surprise, speak up, selfie, rivalry, party, pajamas, homework, gift, delivery, capture. These are my 2020 emotes so far. I don't want emotes for this year. I don't want to look back on this year. April 24th, that's just before the day before the perfect date. Wasn't it April 23rd? Or is it April 25th? I can't remember. But I know exactly what you're talking about. What is your idea of a perfect date? It is, isn't it? It's 25th, yeah. Well... I have to say, April 25th, it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. <laughs> or words to the effect of. And then you just got a bemused look from William Shatner. <laughs> this Congeniality is actually a really good film. I, I quite like that film. Alright, that was the missing piece of the puzzle for this level. We can now roll onwards. That was beautiful. Shatner? Really? Dang, is it? Yeah, it's, it, it is William Shatner, I think. Like, that's, it's quite a good cast list, that film. I think it's, uh, it's got Sandra Bullock, Michael Caine, and William, and William Shatner. Um, a lady who looks like Jane Fonda, but isn't. <laughs> It's a good film. I, I have, I've, I've never seen the second one. I don't quite know what the second one's about, if it's about anything at all. Uh, I don't think we need to do a death platform for the box run. So I think we're good. Now arrange to watch it with the boy. Oop, broop, no problem. Alright, we've hit the magic number again. We're back on nine. <laughs> this is where it begins. The problem, the problem, I mean, it's not a problem. It's bang on correct. Is You're not allowed to, like, solicit for subs. You just kind of have to rely on everybody's generosity. Because it, it, it's a monetary transaction, right? So I can't say, give me your money. It has to be... A, a voluntary thing. 
I feel like it's a bit it's a bit different with with Prime. Because you're already paying for Amazon Prime, you're not really paying for a Switch subscription. I don't know. It's a grey area. It, it, it's, it's alongside the DMCA in terms of what you can and can't do. Actually. In the same sort of way of like, everyone knows the overriding rule, just not the specifics. Everyone knows you cannot play music. Unless... <laughs> Similarly, everyone knows you can't ask people to sub. Unless... <laughs> That's why everyone's Twitch bio says something like Donations and subs are appreciated but not necessary. You know, that kind of stuff. Gotta head off and pick up some milk. Have a good one. Will do, Sam. Thank you very much for stopping by this evening. Very much appreciated. See you, see you again soon. Enjoy your milk. <laughs> Maybe you can suggest that people... Sub. It's, it's that kind of thing of where it goes from suggestion to... Uh, like telling or encouraging, I think, and I don't know what the terms of service are really. I think maybe you're allowed to suggest and encourage that people do, but you're not allowed to say, "Hey, if you guys sub, then you get this, or you you're able to do that, or whatever." I don't know. It is it's a it's a murky area. How are we doing? It looks like we're doing... 97! I need three more gems. Okay. Where are they? One of them's in Piston It Away. Yes. One. Okay. Piston It Away and then the stuff downstairs. How do... I can't remember how to get to the special warp room though. I think you have to go... You have to drop out the bottom of the warp rooms to get there. So we'll have to do that. What have I got? 40 minutes. 40 minutes for three gems. That should be doable. In theory. <laughs> it depends how well things go. So. Piston it away. Was this the one that we needed to complete and then go back? Yes. We need to complete it and then go back for the death room. I want to try and hold on to our twin masks as much as possible. I have a feeling they will be necessary. Oh, actually, no. You know... CRASH! I was gonna say... When we were talking about the terrible levels in Crash Bandicoot 3, the ones that were really bad were the flying levels when you're in a plane. Those ones, I can't stand. I hate those ones. I am not looking forward to them. Those ones and Coco riding a jet ski. Those are the ones that aren't going to be good fun. If when Crash 4 comes to PC, do you think you'll be streaming that? 100%. I really, really hope they are going to release it to PC. I'm sure it won't be for like another year or so yet, which is fine. I'm okay with that. It took like an extra year for this to come to Steam after, after the PlayStation release. So I'm... I'm okay with waiting, but I will 100% be playing Crash 4. I've not watched any videos for it since it's come out. I know nothing about the game, really. I've watched a trailer for it, I think. That's about it. We've died, haven't we? This is a death platform on this level. We've died, we've got to restart. I think. Let me just double check. I'm not going mad, but... You know what? Never mind. We'll just restart. Um... Yeah, I watched the tra I watched the trailer for it, and that's that's about it. My only gripe with Crash Four at the moment is that you have you had to pre-order the game to play the demo, and in my head, that's that's that's, that's not the point of the demo. You buy the demo. You don't buy the demo. You play the demo, 
to find out whether or not you actually want to spend money on the game. Especially because the game was like £60. £60 for a video game is a lot of money. And I get that that's the only price that video games cost nowadays. But like, if you're going to be hedging your bets on 60 quid, I'd, I'd, I'd want a free playable demo for that. You used to get them for free. PlayStation Magazine used to give you so many playable demos of games that were coming out. And they were, they were always brilliant. Like, rough around the edges, sure, but they're demos, you know, that's the point. They to kind of whet your appetite. So you go, oh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that when that one comes out. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. And now you're wanting, you're wanting people to spend 60 quid on the game bef so they can play the demo? By that point, you play the demo and go, oh, I hated that. I've wasted £60 now. There's no point. The gesture of a playable demo... But you have to play. You have to pay sixty pound for it. No, 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 no. That's not the way forward. Loved old PS1 demo discs. They were so so good. So I I think I've still got a heap of them somewhere as well. And when I used to play on the PlayStation, because like, we used to have it at like this uh, bungalow that um my uh my dad and granddad own down on the coast uh that's where the playstation used to live it was like it was a a bit of entertainment for the kids that were there basically and i would spend a lot of my time playing this crash bandicoot 2 and spyro the dragon And then the rest of the time was spent playing the demo discs. Because some of the games on there were so incredibly good. For, uh, like, certainly for demos. And it was a shame it never kind of got to play the full version of them. Purely because by the time I got a PlayStation 1 to play on, it was that one that was down at that bungalow. And by the time we got access to that, that was... Play PlayStation 2 was already well into its life cycle. PlayStation 1 was already obsolete. I'm trying to th think of uh, like some of the games that... Some of the demos that I played that really enjoyed. There was a sort of Street Fighter type game called Unholy Alliance. Or Unholy War or something like that. Um... Which was like a Street Fighter game, but all of the characters, they had different mana and stuff like that. They had like three different moves each. Each move cost various mana points and stuff. And it was the, the first to destroy the other one, one, basically. And that was always a really good one. Uh, Super, Super Bub as well. It was kind of a Buster Move type game. That was always really, it was really good fun. Really great soundtrack as well. I want to, we'll take a moment to check out some of these games. Um, what did you have? Had one that had Tomba on it. I know the demo disc you mean. Because I remember playing that demo disc as well. Tomba is... Again, I don't ever played the demo. But I have since watched like full playthroughs on YouTube and stuff. Tomba is an exceptional game. Like, it takes so much time to do. You've got you've to put the work into it. It's a difficult game. It's a long game. But it was so kind of unique... It was such a unique game, both in terms of its appearance and, like, just the style of game that it was. It was so, so good. And Cooler World, Cooler World I have played as well. Cooler World was a really good puzzle game. You played as a beach ball and you had to kind of negotiate these sort of weird, abstract 3D environments, rolling around the walls and stuff, collecting keys and bits and fruit and stuff like that. Really, really good puzzle game. I, I would definitely recommend Cooler World as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've played. There was... There was one where it was a kind of... It was like a Pac-Man type game. And I can never remember the... Not Pac-Man. It was like a top-down 
game. You kind of stared down on it, and it was like this guy with a gun. You had to shoot these sort of Pac-Man ghosts type things whilst saving babies or something like that. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name. And I know that I looked it up recently and was like, I'll remember that. But now I can't remember. So now I've got to type into Google PS1 game uh, save baby aliens Blitter Boy! That was it. That was it. Blitter Boy. So I can't really show video because, you know, DMCA and all that, but this was what the game looked like. You played as this guy right here and you had to go around and save all the babies, get them to the middle here whilst destroying these ghosts. Various power-ups would appear and that kind of thing. It's so, so good. A ninja game on it. And about the only thing I can remember is that you had to fight a big crab. <laughs> it's... It's those weird ones that were the best ones. You kind of because those are the ones that just never rematerialized. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what happened to that game. Talking of, we've got to redo this level all over again. I hate it. I hate it. Got half an hour left for three gems. You're distracting me with PS1 games. I remember playing Medieval as well. The, orig the original Medieval. Um, and again, very, very good game back in its day. Only ever made it as far as the first boss, the Stained Glass Demon. Only ever made it that far because could never work out how to actually defeat it, first of all. And secondly, at the time, like, I was young at the time. This would have been when I was like maybe... Four? Five? Maybe? Something like that. And it was around my uh, my childminder's house. And I would play medieval with like her daughter. And it was... Yeah, at five years old, the Stained Glass Demon is a terrifying creation. It looked horrible. However, with adult eyes, I look back on it and go, actually, it's... Kind of a work of art. <laughs> Digimon World, Klonoa. I don't recognise either of those. Another game we used to play as well was Point Blank. My childminder had Point Blank with a light gun. So it was like an actual arcade experience of playing Point Blank. Very good game as well. Would recommend Point Blank also. Maybe I'll uh, maybe look into getting a PlayStation 1 emulator. And playing some of these games. Or maybe maybe check out and see if they're on a Steam or GOG or something like that first. So it can actually pay some money for them. If not, then I might have to get an emulator in the ROM to play some of these. Because I'd very much, <clears throat> very much love to. And you know, that's kind of, kind of my thing. I like... Uh, I like old games and retro games and all that sort of thing, and nothing says that more than grabbing those ones. I do like a do, maybe if maybe the demo discs exist as like as ROMs or something like that. Can you, can you imagine being able to like get all the demo discs? That would be cool. I would like. I'd be interested in. Um, we need to die up here. I would be interested in. Uh, like playing through the demo discs uh, as well as the full games but probably more so the demo discs just to kind of go wow look at look at some of the stuff that they tried to sell as well as going look at what this turned into i think I, you we could do it as like a um as like a two part stream if we get the demo disc and play games that got full releases. We do the first part of the stream playing through the demo disc. And then for the second part of the stream we can um, play the full game and go, look at the growth this game has. Look at where it ended up at the end of its development cycle. 
Okay, that's how you're supposed to clear that obstacle, but I, I just am not good at it. I, I love that as an idea. I might have to look into that seriously. Unless I can work out a way to actually hook up a PlayStation 1 and then track down all the demo discs and their games to actually do it on proper hardware. That's what that's what that's what we should do. That's what I should do. But I don't know how much of a financial investment that will be. And I'm not I, I I'm imagining it'll be relatively substantial. Like, yes, I got the PlayStation 1 and some demo discs, but in order to get all of them. I don't know how many of them there were. I'm sure I've got one somewhere that goes up to at least, goes up to like 42. So there's at least that many. And if each one's got what, like 10-ish demos on it? I mean, obviously, as we've said, not all of them will have turned into full games, but... Oh, I knew it. All right, I think that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a bit of time into it once we finished here today. I'm going to have a look around and see if we can get demo disc, demo discs and ROMs. See if, see how much it would cost to actually get proper hardware to do it. I'm going to look into it because that sounds like an absolute blast to me. And there was no more. Of that. Plus, I follow a guy on Twitch. His name is Jason616 with two N's. He, he dubs himself as the king of retro games. I feel like I could give him a good run for his money if I get an original PlayStation 1 and try and play through old demo discs and then the full games of those demos. You, you should be relegated to retro court jester. Oh yeah, I went there. <laughs> Jason, if you're watching. Alright, finally we're on to some sort of progress with this level. To the point where we should be able to get the box gem. Just as long as this goes well for us. Which is by no means guaranteed with these seemingly super athletic nitro crates. How did Digimon World go? I don't recall ever playing that one. How similar was it to Pokemon? <laughs> As a game. Oh, that was beautifully timed talking of. Even more beautifully timed! Yeah! Are you for real? He had put his arms down. There was no way we should have still gotten electrocuted from that. That was too early. Bing, bang, boom, I'm back in the room. Nice. How was your milk? <laughs> I can't remember if we were on this level when you left, but if we were, we are still on this level. The death count has long gone out of the window. Whoop. Sit up. Blue. Oh, hydration break as well. Thank you. Pepsi Max. Blue. Another glass of blue milk. Not sure, but okay. Whatever you say. 
Ah. That's how you do it. Okay. Too early again. If I had my way, we'd be living off of double cream. <laughs> I shall basically be living off of granola for tomorrow because of my damn package didn't arrive today. Oh no, his arms were down! Yeah, I, I've been in all day waiting for a package only for it to not turn up, despite being told that it would turn up today. So I've waited in all day. Gone to make dinner this evening, realised I have no food. So I had to cobble together dinner, which consisted of a bowl of sweet potato fries that I made myself. And that's no good. But now I've got to wait in for my package tomorrow, which will come when it will come. No idea when. So I can't go out and buy myself food, so I've just got to eat the granola that's in the house until the package arrives the rudeness and the audacity of these hexapodes excuse me keep your voice down mister sorry i get passionate when the game screws me over i get loud granola and cream man i went so I, I had granola and like strawberry yogurt the other day that was the whole reason I bought the granola, basically, was because, like, you know what? I'm going to try and eat a bit healthier. So I'm going to get granola and yoghurt. That's a good combination. Granola and yoghurt, that's a good trick. Like, that's a good combination. That's generally considered to be quite healthy. I had it with strawberry yoghurt, and it sucked. I hated it. Hey, Donated the naughty bits with the hex number. <laughs> oh, are we there on lives? Oh, no, what was that? What was, what was that for? Thank you. <laughs> I got custom cheers for the hex number and uh, the uh, the magic number when that amount of bits is dropped. Wait, have I? What am I missing? Literally two gems. Where were they? They, they weren't here. Oh, okay. The more you dive into nutrition, the more you realise you've got to die or summon. This is true. Like, for the most part, I am not too concerned about it. Right? I... I... I don't eat well, but I eat... enough to sustain me... and my lifestyle. <laughs> I eat enough to sustain me... and my lifestyle, which is all that matters. I don't, my diet's not great. It's uh, a lot of, or it certainly never used to be. It was a lot of junk food and snacking. I've started to cook for myself and my diet from that point of view has gotten a lot healthier. But I still snack an awful lot. Okay, we got the countdown. You can't see it because of the webcam, but I have literally one minute. I can't remember if it's I think it's actually the countdown gem that we have for this level. I think it's the boxes that we're missing. So, let's just do it. Nice. So, uh, I'm currently on my to cook list. I want to I want to do Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington because it looks and sounds amazingly delicious. And I also want to try out stuffed peppers with like a, almost like a kind of lasagna type feeling, like a kind of ground beef, cheese, and something like that. Maybe, or, or, or like a kind of Spanish rice or something like that. It's like a kind of mildly spicy rice with chorizo in a stuffed red bell pepper or something like that. Stir fries as well. Love a good stir fry. Okay, I can't remember the division of labour here. Do I need to go to blue to get crates? And if so, how far do I need to go? Okay, you know what we're going to do? Um, 
We're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Let's just bite the bullet and go. So yeah, definitely want to do those. Some stir fries. Love sweet chili chicken stir fry. I want to work. I want to cook more Japanese food as well. I was saying earlier in the stream I had some amazing Japanese food yesterday. Possibly the best food I have ever eaten in my life yesterday. So I want to kind of cook more Japanese as well. The flavor on Japanese food is incredible. I'd love to be able to do that at home. Maybe Thai as well. This is kind of, it was kind of always the intention when I was going to move into this house. It was because because directly beneath me is a Domino's. And so I said to myself before I moved in here, I was like, right, if I'm going to move into a house that is directly above a Domino's, then I need to put some effort into actually learning how to cook and eat healthily. Because otherwise I'm going to end up rolling around. And I don't like that. I like being lean and athletic, athletic looking. Important distinction. I'm not athletic. I just look like I am. But I, I want to be able to maintain that. And living directly above the dominoes is not a good environment for that to happen. So I said, if, I, if I'm going to move into this house, I need to learn how to cook properly so that I can actually have a decent diet. And so far, it's been going relatively well. A lot of fish. I've had salmon loads. Just like, loads of like cooking for myself rather than ordering in. Even frozen food and stuff. I've not put anything in the freezer. I've not had any. It was the box gem we'd already done. Okay. So we got to do the time attack instead. Oop. Internet just. <laughs> Crashed. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the one. I, I, I accept it. it. Says that I used it, but Sam's got the credit for that one. That was, a, that was Sam's button. That wasn't mine. Um. But um. Oh no! Where was I? What was I saying? It was about food and diet, wasn't it? Yeah, so I haven't eaten eaten much frozen food either. And that's mostly because frozen food, you kind of rely on the oven to go... <gasps> Jacoby is raiding with a party of three. Good evening to you all. To Jacoby and to fellow Bumbles for raiding. Very good to see you here. Thank you so much. How is everybody? How is the stream? trying my best to breeze through. It's only given me a minute this time. It gave me a minute and two last time. God, darn it. Oh yeah, crash, baby. You know it. Trying desperate. Now I've got to try not to make a uh, make a complete fool of myself. Gosh, now there's pressure. Now I'm under the microscope. No, crash! Done it! Hello, just a quick one. Has to disappear, but have a good one. I will do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. I've got a hydration and a posture check from... Oh my god, it's you! <laughs> oh, wonderful to have you back in the stream, my friend. How are you? Oh. Wiggle into the chair. There we go. Alright, we missed the countdown because I'm in it. So we need, to, we need to start this all over again. We're so close. Pushing down on me, pushing down on you, whatever the words are. That was Under Pressure by Queen, or Vanilla Ice, depending on your era. Um, used for uh, review and criticism in accordance with uh, free usage copyright laws to uh, avoid DMCA strikes. My review of the song is that... um. Uh, oh god, it's, it's tough to think when you're under pressure. Uh, my review of the song is that it's relatively simple, but uh, there's no denying its uh, its place in popular culture and music as a whole. 
Uh, my criticism of the song is that... Uh, oh, is it David Bowie? Oops. Uh, my criticism of the song is that it's been done by so many people, it's impossible to know who actually did the song. Bit cheer from Morgan. Good evening, Morgan, as well. Welcome. How are you this fine evening? How did you get on with Cyberpunk? I hope it continued to uh, delight in the only way that the game has been delighting so far. <laughs> From what I hear. Bowie and Merkin. That was deeply, deeply embarrassing. Ah, oh, David Bowie and Freddie Mercury. Okay, well that's 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 that's, that's, that's all right then. I'm, I was only I was only half ignorant. <laughs> it's better than being fully ignorant. Ah, <laughs> oh. dear dear me. I've got literally two gems and ten minutes to do it. This is getting to be kind of upsetting. <laughs> Come on! We'll keep going until until we get them all. There's no point dedicating the next stream to one single gem. So we'll keep going till we till we get it. But like, still, the water levels just as bad as I thought. These water levels are fine compared to the underwater levels. Oh my gosh, those ones really do suck. All right, time one minute. Let's go. Could have said the used and my chemical Roma. They did one as well. See, see, this is, this is, this is, this is the problem with the uh, with the song. As I said in my criticism of the song, in accordance with DMCA guidelines and Creative Commons licensing. Please don't sue me or take my video down. What? What? what where, where were? Where were you? Go where were you going? I was pressing the. That was forwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can run forwards. Okay. Good to know. Oh my gosh. Good. Massive delay. Oh. Can you try refreshing? Might help. Time trials. I'm not... I ain't, I ain't fussed about the relics. We're not... We ain't going for time trials. Pretty good. I'm going to listen to that afterwards. As long as, it, as long as it's like a good cover. As long as it's not like the Limp Biscuit cover of Faith. That's fine. As in... As long as it... Like... It's interesting, but... Wouldn't want to keep listening to it. Hopefully going to be live with more tonight, but Wi-Fi isn't behaving. Ugh. That's the problem. What you need? You need to get yourself, um... Like, some wired connection. You can buy, uh... Buy plug adapters that let you run the internet through the electrical wires in your house. And then with a, with a couple of Ethernet cables, you're able to just... You can plug into the wall, and it's like you're running directly off the Ethernet. Is what I'm doing for this, and... I, I would almost say it's probably a must for streaming just because it gives you that little bit more reliability when it comes to your internet. As well as ensuring you've got a decent um, you've got a decent upload rate as well. A good upload rate and a wired internet connection and you can't go wrong. Speedrun strats didn't work. Okay. No, it's pretty faithful. It's a bit more in their style. That's good then. That's fine. I, I'm going to be deeply upset if we don't get this. Jay, what's the death count, by the way? <laughs> Woefully high. I'm upset with how badly I've played this game. I thought I was much better at Crash than I have led the internet to believe however like i like i said it's because the the physics and stuff bitch here you can do it yes we can as bob the builder once famously said zero yeah yeah i think you're right sam if anything i think the game owes us lives right <laughs> um but yeah as i said earlier this is all to do with the fact that my muscle memory is tuned in for the original Crash Bandicoot 2. And the remaster here has slightly different physics and it just doesn't quite translate properly. It's not even an issue with the controller, it's just an issue with the fact that the, the game here requires different muscle memory. 
to the version that I know and love. Okay, we won't worry about speedrun strats this time, but that does, however, leave us with only 30 seconds to get to the end to get the gem. We may have to just tank some hits here to ensure we can get there. It's going to be close. We're there. Good. Take him out. Give me that. Yes. Woohoo! The darn controls changed. At least they didn't go in reverse. Reverse controls suck. A reverse controlled level underwater. That is hell on earth. Pro. All we needed was the lucky bit. That was it. <laughs> Beauty. Leaves me with eight minutes for the final gem. Time is against us. Where is the last gem? Where have I got to go? Okay, nowhere here. In the meanwhile, please enjoy this musical. It's in Snowbeers. All right, let's do it. How hard can it be? Unlock a new path by owning the red gem elsewhere. Oh, that was literally... We just had to get the red gem. We've had, we've had that for ages. Ages. That's fine. Let's absolutely go, boys. Let's do it. We got two masks right out of the gate, which will come in handy for us. Eight minute speed run of a level. Easy. I ain't afraid. There's no reason to be afraid. Especially now with the magic of a controller. Can you believe that I would... I was trying to play this with a keyboard and mouse in the previous stream. What a loser. <laughs> okay, the triple mask will help us. Ah, there we go. Take me up. Country road. Stay masked. Stay safe. Rona's out to get you. Four bits. Let's do this. Thank you, Morgan. Oh, it's Christmas time There's no need to be afraid Well apart from Corona And a government Who cannot tell us how to spend our time God say a prayer Pray for the NHS At Christmas time It's hard enough At the best of times There's a world outside your window and it's a world of idiots And the people who can't make it Out of the house without their Treasured masks inside their coat pockets Do 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 <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit carried away <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're 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 absolutely right. Demonetized, sorry DMCA, but you got to admit that that one was pretty good. <laughs> I like how you have the DMCA police there, just going, "We should hit the button," but that was kind of banging. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's how they operate. They don't make exceptions for good ones. <laughs> Tempus, good evening, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Sorry for what you witnessed upon joining. <laughs> I hope you're well this evening. It's not too late to form the Netrock Band. It certainly is not. But he do speak the truth. Yeah, I kind of, the message kind of got lost there. I, got, I think I was trying to say too much at once. And so therefore didn't actually say enough. You know? <laughs> Never apologise. Oh, that's fair enough then. Never mind, don't worry. <laughs> No apology not issued. It's too many double negatives for me. Whoop. 
Jump! Crash! <laughs> Darn it. How did, how did we even get there? I don't, I don't know. And do you know what? Oh, it was because you posted in chat. You put in chat, it's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. That wasn't even the song that I was thinking. I was thinking, I saw that lyric and I thought of the one that goes, bom, 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 bom. I don't know why. If they they feel like they should start the same, like it feels like, I think it's because they both start with like that little bit of bass. You know what I mean? Yes, lonely this Christmas. That's the one, right? So that one starts with the bom 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 bom, and then you have, uh, do they know it's Christmas? Which starts with bom bom. Bom, bom. I think it's the fact they just start with the bombs that it kind of throws me off a bit. Quality tune, one of the best, absolutely is. Um, I don't think it's too much of a hot take, but I think the best Christmas song was the one that Slade did. I think I think that's universally agreed upon. Bands back in the day sure had interesting names. Yeah, Mud, Slade. <laughs> Like, that's certainly my favourite one, is, uh, Slade's Christmas song. Close second is the one that The Darkness did. Mostly because I feel like it's kind of a forgotten Christmas song. I don't think anyone truly thinks of that song when they think of Christmas songs. And it's a shame, because it is a really good one. Don't Let the Bells End, I think it's called. Now is now is the true question of do I attempt to hit the high notes and do a sing along of the song? <laughs> Fairy tale of New York, of course. Un absolutely unforgettable. You're a bum, you're a drunk, you smell like a skunk. Just, it's not really the words, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's insulting and rhymes, then it fits into the song. You know, I, I can't, no more spring to mind at the moment. You're ugly, you're fat, you've got a big nose. Merry Christmas, you're full, that's the way this song goes. You know what I mean? Maybe something like that. The darkness. Christmas time! Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Don't let the bells end. Christmas time! I'm so... Now I will apologise. I don't care what you say, Tempus. I am sorry. That was that was truly awful. I think for the YouTube VOD, I'm definitely going to have to do some editing around that bit. <laughs> the David Bowie one? What was David Bowie's Christmas song? 2,000 Miles by The Pretenders is my favourite. Yeah, I quite like that one too. Oh, we got one! Don't click the link. No one wants to be famous. Two! Nice. Two in a row. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Three! Yeah! Oh, come on. C -c -c combo Can we get four? Do you know what this is though? I have actually worked out purely through this why how it's kind of how the thing works. Because obviously you see that come up in chat and you go, oh, click the link. No. But when it pops up in my window here, the ban button, when when a new one comes in, the where the ban button was is where the link goes to. So it kind of it I think that's how it passes is when you have streamers go oh got a ban that and then the next one comes through and they click the link by accident dang uh where are we it might be on twitch sings i thought twitch sings had been shut down because of dmca you can sing together it's just usually poor etiquette <laughs> i saw them live and they played it they, you've seen the darkness really that's incredible that's incredible. I'd love to see The Darkness live. From what I've heard, they kind of like, they play that song. 
in every like in their sets regardless of time of year and i would love to love to see that twitch sings is being def defunded okay so it still exists but it's just not for long <laughs> They really want me to be famous. They do want me to be famous, and I appreciate the amount of time and effort that they put in to making me aware of the fact that they want me to be famous. Sorry, they want me to be famous. Not that they want me to famous. They want me to be famous. I appreciate the effort they put into it, but at the same time, I would rather kind of grow it a bit more organically than clicking on a Taiwanese hyperlink. I, it's, I, I'm not dunking on them. Like I, like I, said, I appreciate the effort. It doesn't go unnoticed. And I want to be very, very clear on that. I don't want it to come across that I'm ungrateful to what they're doing for me. But I don't want to... I, I don't need the trouble. You know, I just kind of... I just want to do things naturally. I want... A community of people who are going to come in and hang out and not have anything against it but not speak in Thai every stream because I can't I can't understand that <laughs> post vids on discord yeah yeah I want to see I want to see the darkness live I had the opportunity to see them once at a festival but um, I, uh, I went and saw someone else instead as is very often the case. One more box and I can see it on the cliff top here. It's done. All we need to do is make it to the end without dying. The April sub spree will be entirely inorganic, but much anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's different. That's different. That's a community coming together to support me. By the way, when it when it rolls around to April 24th, that's my birthday, and apparently people have decided that that's going to be a big subathon day. So put it in your diaries, save up for it. If you want to. I have to stress if you want to. Because I'm not allowed to solicit subs. Oh, it's a cutscene. I have, at long last. Five minutes late, but we've done it. Crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well. And with them, I can destroy the Cortex Vortex forever! <laughs> forever? Maybe until Engine rebuilds it. I'm sure he's got his plans somewhere. We will smash that Scyther into eternal, eternal existence. Dang straight. Um, now then, how do we get the extra ending cutscene? Have I got to beat Cortex again, or can I just like, I can just, I can just nip out. That's cool. Here we go. The official ending for all forty-two gems and all twenty-five crystals, and we are now officially. Oh, my hand got caught on the wire. We are now officially. Complete on Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. Thought for a sec, Crash held his middle finger up in the lift. <laughs> Pew! Should do a community challenge. Yeah, yeah, community challenge. That'd be an ideal time to do that, actually. Four bit cheer. Complete. Nice. Yeah, community challenge would be good. Try and get like a hype train going. Ever since Get Get Good got one yesterday. Get Good got <laughs> one yesterday. That was cool. Alright. Are we done? Are we done? Warping? Alright, that is everything. I think let's just check the menu. 100%. 25, 42. We don't care about the relics because it's just playing the levels all over again. I just remembered we unlocked the running shoes, so... Oh, no wait, I don't need that. So, whatever button it is to run, we can do that now, apparently, but we don't need to worry about that. 
Everyone can save up their subbing energy for the big day. Certainly can. One hundo! Woo! We are there. And that is Crash 2. In a nutshell. Total power. Uh, next week, I guess, is when we move on to Crash Bandicoot 3. Warped! As the intro guy says. Or at least he used to. So yeah, we'll be moving on to Warped next week. Which I'm looking forward to, because Crash 3 is a great game. Again, great music. You're hearing that now. And also, it's got a brand new bonus level that I've never played, I've never even seen, which I am thoroughly looking forward to as well. That's going to be very exciting. I can always tell how passionate I've gotten throughout a stream because the spit marks on the monitor. <laughs> I'm like, ugh, just, ugh, 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 go away. And yeah, then once we're done with Warped, we have finished Crash Bandicoot up until uh, the most recent one comes out on Steam. Which uh, will be... I'm also looking forward to it. As I was saying earlier, I know nothing about that game, and I'm going to do my best to keep it that way, so that, that can be a full-on surprise as well. Oh, looking forward to it! But let's begin our roundup for today. What have we got left to do? Oh, sure, why not? Um, what am I doing for the rest of this week? That's a good question. Let's try and find that out. Uh, I think I've got Spyro coming up in a couple of days. If not tomorrow. Where are we at? Oh, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tomorrow, first person shooter. Whoa. We're playing Medal of Honor tomorrow, apparently. I I, I have scheduled that we're going to do that tomorrow. Barring any major disasters, we'll be playing Medal of Honor Allied Assault tomorrow. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. A good game. A good game. Spyro will be on Friday. And then I'm going to be doing some creative Minecraft building on Saturday to... Um, try and get back into the swing of things uh, and just practice my, my minecraft skills are lackluster so spending some time doing some creative stuff fancy buildings redstone or whatever I, I don't really know yet but we shall see but yeah i um why did i pick medal of honor who cares that's what that's 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 what it'll be that's what it'll be um Alrighty, there ain't nothing else. There ain't nothing else, I don't think. So, I will create a load of noise in the background accidentally. And then we will head off. Uh, we can do a raid. We'll go, uh, we'll go, we'll, we'll jump on over to Barely Joshua at the moment. He's playing Apex. Um, he's doing like Christmas giveaways and stuff. He may have already done it, but we'll go over and say hello anyways. Um, beautiful. All right, everybody, as always, thank you so much for coming along, hanging out, and uh, watching along the bits, the subs, all that kind of stuff. It's been a wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. If not, then maybe some other point during the week. We get to catch up once again. If I don't see you this week, have a good one. If I don't see you beforehand, Jesus, I've got to say this now. If I don't see you beforehand, have a good Christmas. I don't know if I'll be streaming next week or not, but we'll see. Yes, it's going to be Christmas next week. Have a good one if I don't see and speak to you before then. And we'll, we'll catch up at some other point. The most wonderful time of the year. Alright, let's let's launch this raid. Guys, once again, thanks for hanging out and I will see you all again soon. Good night.